Okay, so first I'm gonna do a page. Um, I just lost the pictures. Okay, here are my pictures. Just there's. This is six. I'm not gonna use these all because I only want to fit it on one page. But that's okay. That's just how I like doing it. I like having extra so I can see what looks good together. Um, so then you have your pictures. Um, and here's my different papers that I have for this project, this uh, group of things. This paper I'm going to use is trees because we went to an, uh, an arboretum. So, and this is going to be upside down for you, I guess, but sorry. So first, I need to pick out which pictures I want to use. Definitely want to use those three. Hmm. I'm going to do a maximum of four. So, pick between these two. And, uh, I don't know. I like this one better. So let's put those over there. And then you need to figure out how to arrange them nicely. Um, I have three horizontal and one vertical, so that's always fun. I don't think they are all gonna fit. And you can overlap them too. It's not a crazy big deal. I don't know if this is gonna work. So you just mess around and put them in different spots, see if they look good. But you need space, well I need space for a title, so this could be a while, I'll probably just skip this in the video. Okay, that looks good. Um, okay, so try not to wiggle them. There's my arrangement. I'm gonna have the title up here. Okay, so the next step, oh, also you'll need a glue stick of some sort. Just, you know, I'm just a scotch crap stick. So you just want to glue your paper down. I go all four sides and then next in the middle just to be safe. Pat it down. I use back my hand because there's less oil there. I probably. I don't know, I'm just always afraid I'm gonna mess up the pictures. And then if you're overlapping, obviously you wanna do the one that's underneath first. And they don't have to be perfectly lined up, just however, like some of mine are crooked and some are, you know, whatever, on other pages. These I want to be straight though. page. 
and then and then I'm gonna do the title and this was with my AP biology class so I'm gonna use I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna do AP bio or AP biology I don't know here are my stamps they're just let's put a little closer they're just letters an exclamation point and an and sign woohoo I don't know if you can see that, but that's just how they look on the back. Where did this come from? Here's my ink pad. It's just your run of the mill ink dye based. Perfect for paper. Acid free. Oh, that's another thing. Oh, shoot. Um, make sure all of the stuff that you buy is acid free because the acid, I don't, I don't exactly remember, but it messes up the pictures, like when it gets older. But if you do acid free, then it protects them and it keeps them nice for longer. So, when you first do it, you wanna, right here so you can see. You have to put a lot on kind of at first, the first stamp. I'm gonna do biology. AP biology. So A. And my letters are always crooked. And they always look kind of twisty because the stamps aren't perfect. But um it looks bad like as you're going along, but when you finish the word or whatever and your page is all done, usually there's so much to see that the P is crooked. Usually there's so much on your page that you don't even notice how perfect the letters are. Actually. Okay. So actually I need to work from the inside out. Okay, so L <laughs> is in the middle. It's my L. And then usually I just finish the word. My O is always crooked. Stamp it wasn't put on very straight. Still over. L O G. Cool. Spelling lesson. G. I don't even know if you can see this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So B I O. So we'll do O and work backwards. Oh, that one's way off. That's okay. I. The I is tricky because it's skinny and it wobbles, and then you get little square marks from the stamp and my B. There. Now it looks a little a little crooked. But I mean I guess it's just the hand done effect, you know. Okay, right, so next I have some stickers that I purchased somewhere over here. And I've got a ton of stickers. So, okay. I bought some trees. Got this big tree, which is which is really cool. And then I've got there's three little evergreens in here. So take my scissors. Open. I'm gonna do this tree first. 
except it appears that there's no glue on it, so it looks like I have to glue myself. Great. And don't glue directly on top of your thing, because that's bad, obviously. Should have figured out where I was going to put it first. So, let's try out different spots, how they look. That one's going to cover a space. Kind of want it in a corner. Thinking right now, because that covers up him right there. Right there might be good. Yeah. I think that's the best spot. Not thrilled with it. I like the big things in the corners, but it's fine. It's the only place it's gonna fit without covering someone up. Close your ink pads. Make sure you close your ink pads. Which I often forget to do. Here's my throw that out. Little trees. Just gonna kind of lay them out before I glue them down. So that looks good to me. You can overlap stickers too. I mean, I guess these aren't really stickers, but. Should I? I like here. Said stickers on the package. You'd think that stickers would be sticky. I guess not. It's a learning experience. Okay, so I'm going to do this one first, because... Okay, check it over, see if there's anything else you want to add. Ooh, I know I have a feather somewhere. If I can find it, I'd like to add that. I have no idea where this came from. It's just a feather. I don't know if it's real or not. I just have it. Probably good. So I don't know how to glue this down, actually. <laughs> oh, 
not down, upside down. So that's not sticking. I think I might need a liquid glue for this. Oh, oh, this is terrible glue. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, God. Don't do this. That looks a little better. Very thin line. Glue all over my hands. Nice fuzzies on my feather now. So that's down. Don't want to pick it up because it's, you know, but here, uh, here's the final product. Um, I was going to show you some other pages that I did recently. Okay, so these are what I was talking about with the, uh, with this, oh gosh, sorry, I'm looking at my computer screen up there. The, uh, up here, here. <laughs> with the six pictures, you can see that there's a very, thin border and they're all the way up all the way up to the corner so that's how that looks um here's a halloween one and i like for this book i'm putting because it's me and my boyfriend's scrapbook i wrote a note here and i just Pour it off of a memo pad and glue it down. So you can do that. You can do all kinds of things. Then here's another one with like overlapping and um, not like straight lined up kind of thing. It's a surface. Here's my stamps again. Oops, over here. Stamps. And you can see the tell but they're not flat stickers okay so that is the end of my scrapbooking video i hope you you know learned something or liked it or whatever um i've got lots more pages to do so if you have any questions or want to see me do anything else um feel free to message me or comment or whatever. Um, I guess I'm putting this on YouTube, so if you want to subscribe, I'll probably do more if people like it. Um, if you're on Tumblr, hey, check it out. Check it. Um, yeah, that's all. Hope you liked it. Bye. There's, there's seven letters, B, I, O, L, whoa, B, I, O, L, O, 
she what am I doing? B I O L. Okay. 